Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Floppy Nights. Last time we left off, we did one of the secret base things, and we also did another challenge, right? And we have two more of these and two more levels left, so... Defend at least one beacon for 12 turns is our next uh, challenge here. I don't have any more of these, right? Anything, anything new to buy? No, nope, we bought everything last time. Okay. So, how about we do some of these challenge levels? At least one beacon for 12 turns. Cool. Yeah, so it's this one. Again, to win this battle, fend the beacon from the enemies for 12 turns. Okay, it's at le it said at least... Oh, I thought it said it at least one. Big Mad. Okay. Well, I gotta get Big Mad down there. <clears throat> so what do we got here? We have extra tiles, can only move in a straight line. I can summon Troublemaker, Barrel Cactus. Barrel Cactus probably wouldn't be bad. Uh, Troublemaker would not be bad either, though. Troublemaker gives me Instigate, which makes Big, Big Mad stronger, so I'm gonna do that. There you go, Big Mad. Now you do two damage. Um... I mean, I would like Barrel Cactus too, don't get me wrong, but... Um... It's just this turn, so... I kind of want to discard this turn and draw new cards. But maybe I just take the opportunity... Oh my god, enemies are going to spawn in, like... No turns. I really gotta get down there quickly. Hmm. I can move you all the way over there. You can't attack us yet. Fine. Let's let's summon a barrel cactus too. And I can summon bird's eye as well. I mean, I can't do anything else really. I could move Big Mad, but then Big Mad would take damage. That might not be a bad thing. So you two do. Two damage a piece. Um. Yeah, sure. Uh, move right there, actually, big man. We need you to get hurt, so you can stop start bopping some idiots. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cool. All right. Now we've got a bunch of units to work with and everything, so nothing to grow really. Uh, take two self damage, gain some attack. Um, well, I can tell you what I probably want to do, and it's not that, so, let's see, how much damage are you doing right now? Six. That's enough for now. Let's do that, and then let's, oh, I couldn't move you as far as I wanted. Well, let's move you, I should have moved you right there so you could stand on that one, but that's not going to work now, is it? Okay, well, you get down there. Um, could have you take two damage and get plus one attack. Or the quiver, kid. I wish I didn't have this grow. The grow kind of sucks. We're gonna be real. Um, you could take two damage and get stronger. Um, honestly, out of all of you, I feel like I would want it on Big Mad, but... So Big Mad could just bop people. I really just didn't get a lot of movement here, huh? Just didn't get a lot of movement, huh? Maybe we can do that. Um, press the attack. We we can't do anything with that because I don't have movement. I can't use grow. Sure, strange brew. Minus one speed, plus one speed. Fantastic. At least it's out of my deck now. Uh, and... Big Mad, I can make a lot stronger. But I'm kind of scared to do that. Screw it. Big Mad has one HP, and we should be good here. I really wish I was on my other deck. <laughs> Make me much, much happier. Oh, there's two of you. You move, you move pretty far as well. Okay, well, what do we got here? Each time, unit takes damage. Move unit boost. That's pretty good. Um... Your range is not that far. Um, God, this is going to be a problem. Uh, well, you can attack. You do two damage. You do four damage. You do three damage. 
Boom. Hmm. Well, herein lies the issue. Uh, Big Mad is going to be over here with a bunch of enemies and is probably going to die. I can't get you over there to help. Super well. We might have just gotten ourselves into a bad spot here. You have attacked this turn. See, but I don't want to get you down there because... They're gonna spawn, right? Oh, but they spawn at the end of the turn, so... No, this is fine. We can get you down there, Big Mad. And... This allows you to draw a card. And then let's... Move you right here. Okay, that stops one enemy from spawning. Uh... Now, I only have one more piece of movement, so I can only kill one of you. Yeah. I only kill one of you. And I guess we're gonna kill the mini robot. Yeah. Um, well, you can't yeah, okay, you can't get to you now. Good. Okay, that's that's fine then. We're good then. Um Takes two self damage, draw some cards. Nah, no, we're good. Okay, and you can't be attacked, but you are gonna have two different enemies to deal with down there. Okay. I really wish I could draw another plant card so I could get this grow out of my deck. The grow is very, very annoying. Oh god, oh my god, it's those two. Okay, maybe I should have hit that up on the way over. I thought Big Mad would be able to handle this, but I'm not so sure now. Um... Well... Let's see, Big Mad, you do 9 attack damage, so... That sucks. Because it means... I'm going to have to use most of my shit... Just taking these idiots out. Um... Light up on Budding Sword. Yeah, sure. And then let's move you over here. So this does plus one damage. Oh my god. We're gonna have to lose some energy next turn. Fuck! Destroy any card in hand, draw, draw two cards. Ooh, gain energy. But how much is the, is the follow-up one? Is it three? I don't remember. Let's just go ahead and have you take some damage. Um... Can you reach me? Let's see, you can move to... No, you can't reach me. Okay. Bang. Okay, you're still just two. Okay, we're good. Bang. There we go. You cannot reach me. Big Mad is safe. The thing is safe. Um... Now, the problem being, I can't really do much else this turn. You're going to die, Barrel Cactus. Twelve turns I have to defend this stupid thing for. Um... Yeah, I had to waste so much just making sure these enemies died. Big Mad is the only one over here able to take care of it, so... I summoned too many idiots down here, and I didn't get a chance to... fix that. I'll have a little bit of an opportunity now. Like, I have some spare time here. You just... never mind. Uh, This is gonna be a hard challenge. Yeah, I should have hit that on the way down. Hmm. Wow, I have a resounding nothing going on here. Wow, this sucks. You can't really move that far. If I got Big Mad back here, I would be able to last a little bit longer. But I would also possibly be overwhelmed. Yeah, I should have hit that thing on the way down here. Okay, and I'm gonna... You're gonna have to take some damage for me, I think. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what we need. Move unit, draw three cards. Over here, please. Okay, that's good. Um, Light up. I don't need to motivate. 
Let's see, I can't one-hit you idiots, so I feel like healing is possibly a good call here. You can move right there and right there. So you can't do anything to me right now. Um, I could upgrade Cactus Juice. Let's see here, what else do I want to do? Let's upgrade Cactus Juice. I mean, I don't even think there's another card in my deck I could do that with. Um, what I would really like to do is get you down here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this turn. Um, right, let's move you right here. Big Mad, you need to walk right there. Okay. And I would like to press the attack on you. There. Okay, now you might die. Unless I move you back. Big Mad is over here, Big Mad is safe. You're gonna die if I don't move you back, so... Moved back. Can I upgrade this again? I cannot, yeah. Do we have, like, more grows than I even need? I feel like we do. <clears throat> yeah, God, I'm just really bad with this kind of deck. I think I've already lost. I think I was supposed to hustle earlier to make this a little bit easier. Okay, you're super slow, luckily, so you can't get down here to help. Really? Uh, okay, there's my other plant cards. Damn it. I needed those. Uh... You can... You're just... You're just gonna die. There's no way for me to get you out of there and have you live. I think this is just all gonna be up to Big Mad to survive down here long enough. I think that's what this is gonna have to be. Okay, you can not reach me. So we are good there. Bang. Okay, I could... Use you to kill something. There's not really much point. Yeah, this might just have to all be on Big Mad. We don't have to defend it much longer. So I'm thinking maybe we could pull it off, although these are spawning soon. And these just spawn super quickly, so... Um... I do think I just want to give you a bunch of armor, though. I don't want to use Adaptation, because I might get the full HP restore, and I... <laughs> I don't want that. Um... You could move in and attack the mini machine. Because I... I mean, I don't really want to do anything with Big Mad right now. The best thing I could do is probably... I mean, you're gonna die anyway. Just go in and attack the big mini machine. There you go. It lives with one HP because it's a stupid bastard. Okay, Big Mad has some armor. The beacon has a lot of HP. I just need to make sure Big Mad doesn't get overwhelmed. Having allies would really help here, but unfortunately I do not have any. I have no friends. Okay, you spawned, you're a thing now. How does one deal with this? Okay, we got a waste. Let's see. How much damage do you idiots do? Not that much. Honestly, the beacon could last for a few more turns if I could just keep running with Big Mad to stay alive long enough. And I could potentially get some assistance out of it. Let's see, Living Sword. I could kill one of you. Probably you. Hmm. I don't have a lot of movement, though, is the other problem. Hmm. I could kill you, and then move back over here. That might be my best bet. Yeah, let's do that. Bop. And, uh... Living Sword, and then move back right here. Oh yeah, we're about to get overwhelmed. Don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Oh, I should have moved back there. I think I could have, right? One, two, yep, I could have moved back there. That was a mistake. Okay, we're making them. 
I could actually die this turn if both the enemies attack me instead of the beacon, but they're probably going to attack the beacon. I mean, you'll attack me, but... Okay, no, we lost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was just a series of unfortunate events. And I screwed up there by not moving all the way back here. I'm just stressed out. Hopefully it can go a little bit better this time. God, I... I hate Strange Brew. Get this stupid garbage out of the game. Not even my deck. Out of the game. Let's go ahead and use it. Plus one speed, minus two HP. Perfect. Thank you, I wish I had drawn that earlier. Um, alright. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at this shit. Bing. Oh, now we are cooking- see what- Oh my god, it, things can be vastly different. Just depending on some minor circumstances. Look at this shit. Look at me go. Oh my god. Look at me go. This is so much better. All j based off of a single lucky draw. Okay, those enemies aren't spawning yet. Um, we have enough time to do some things here. Definitely want Barrel Cactus. Um... Make Quiver ch Kid cheaper. Um... How about you move right here? Bang. Um... Who do we want to be cheaper? I think I'll just make the move cheaper. With Light Up. Boom. So we can do this. Yeah, there we go. Bang. Bang. Oh my god. Immediately better. Immediately better. Crazy how that happens. Alright, yeah, so much more effective this time. I summoned way too many enemies at- uh, way too many allies at the beginning, and they couldn't do anything. So it was kind of just useless. Uh, unit gains payback. Ooh, that would be good to use... on you. 99 HP, but you got payback, so I don't care. That's most of what I wanted. Um, alright. Um, I would like to get... you over there. Um... I mean, hmm. Yeah, you're right there. That's blocking one of those. What's now and later? Sure. You can't reach, right? Yes. Okay, we're good. Um, you can move. We can't move as much as I would like here. Could summon a Troublemaker? The Troublemaker would get hit, but that would just be another ally I have. Or I could give Big Mad a bunch of armor. More ally, more armor. Let's let's do armor. Just for safety's sake. There we go. Cool. Alright, you stupid idiots are on your way. Okay, you two got summoned. That's fine. You only do two damage right now, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Huh. Yeah, I'm just instantly happier with how this one's going. Um, could upgrade Seed Sword. Draw three cards. Restore more HP. Um, you know, it takes two self damage. That doesn't go through armor, right? I don't think it does. Maybe I want Barrel Cactus to have more damage, though, instead of Big Mad. Big Mad's already kind of strong. Let's give it the Barrel Cactus. But, uh, do I want to do any of these things? I would like the Cactus Juice to be around permanently for this one. Normally, I don't want that, but this particular time I do. Okay, so now our main issue here is I need some cards. I need some movement, and I have no movement. I have one bit of movement. That is atrocious. And I don't want to destroy the cactus juice I just upgraded. Um, I should have used destroy on the cactus juice. Because obviously I don't want to destroy my... Bull rush because it's my only form of movement right now, so if I don't destroy that, I'm gonna take some damage. But I might draw a... 
please movement? Not movement, but we did get pain and er, like devilish deal and pain and gain. Um, finally, okay, thank you. God, good golly gracious, jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna move you right here. You're blocking that unit from spawning. Um, ooh, summon you, Bob. Dead. You can't reach, you can't reach. Let's move you up here. Okay, we. you can be attacked by this dork. So the egg champion might actually kill you, whoopsie. I didn't think about that. I should have moved you over here. But then I was worried about the mini machine, but I could have moved you right there and you would have been fine. I need to be using this more this episode. Uh, I mean, there's not really much I can do with any of this except heal you up. Okay. Yeah, Bird's Eye is probably dead. Um, I would be astonished if Bird's Eye did not die here. I really need to get Big Mad up there to those dorks. Oh, wow. Okay, you, you spared Bird's Eye. Cool. Thank you for that. I'm so spoiled by having my other movement uh, from my other deck. That deck is just so busted. Okay. You need to take self damage, get some movement. Might need to do that. Let's. I, I gotta get Big Mad in there. I have to. It's a requirement. Um. Because if I just leave them sitting there to their own devices, this is gonna get very bad very quickly. Alternately, you don't move as far. Um. I have no more attacks, either. That's also a problem. And you don't do enough to make it really worth it. I could summon a troublemaker. Not really much reason to. I think I just need to get Big Mad in there. Let's see, if I do that... Big Mad, you have eight attack. If I get you in there, which is very hard to do. <clears throat> hmm. I can get, I can psych up on someone. You two are gonna get attacked this turn for sure. I can move you down here and you could kill that enemy, but if I do that, then I can't get Big Mad in here. You're also probably going to move in and kill us. Oh, you can't. You don't have the range. You can shoot the beacon, though. The beacon's about to take a ton of damage. But I can't get Big Mad in there too fast, or Big Mad's just going to die. Like, yeah, that's just not going to work. And I don't have another attack as we went over. Let's see here. Yeah, this is hard. Beacon can take a lot more damage, so I think we're mostly fine there. Um, Quiver Kid just honestly was not the most useful thing I could get. If I can just get all of my units down here, we'll be fine. Problem is actually doing that. Um, so if I move Bird's Eye right here, you're just gonna die. That is a fact. But if I move, tr if I summon Troublemaker instead of moving Bird's Eye, boom, you're dead. These two can't kill you. Although if all three of them attack you, you will still die. Um. Yeah. Uh. You've attacked though, so you can move like this. Yeah, do that. Overrun. Okay. Then... With Big Mad... If I move there, you could attack me. I don't want that. Who else could we move instead? You could take some self-damage to get me some, some stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now I can Bull Rush and Triple Stack. So let's Triple Stack Big Mad. 
and let's see. From right here, you can't hit either of us this turn. But if I move over here, you might attack Big Mad instead of the Beacon, which would save some of the Beacon HP. I like how much damage Big Mad could potentially take if I move right here. Also, one of these would have monstrous attack if they hit Big Mad. I think I'm just gonna let the thing take some damage. Okay, Bird's Eye. Let's see... Who else do I want to move? I can move you, like, barely. Not even a point in doing it, really. Just move Bird's Eye right there. Bird's Eye can't die. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna attack. You're going to attack. You're moving over here. Okay, you're trying to block me. And it's working. God, this one's a slog. Jesus. So many of these copycats, too. Uh, Alright, sunshine. We got a now and later. We got light up. Move unit and draw two cards. Or the attack can be free. Let's see, how much damage do you big, do big man? Eight. So you do have enough. Let's do that. Let's make the attack free. We'll uh, go ahead and use your bull rush here. And bang. Bang. You are dead. Now, I could use this to move someone. I really just need to move everyone up here now. Um, you're all three going to attack that, but once again, you only do two damage apiece, so it's not the biggest deal. Also, if you stay right there, you're going to stop more from spawning, which I would like. I think what I want to do here is just move some more of my units in. Right? So, let's move you, Barrel Cactus. Uh, right here. Okay, and we got, ooh, we got Psych Up, and we got, that's actually pretty good. Um, Quiver Kid, I'm sorry. Uh, now, I could Explorer with someone, but no spots safe for you from, your range is, yeah, I wouldn't be able to move you anywhere good. I think you're just dead. Bird's eye, unfortunately. I think you're just bones. Possibly not, though. Well, one of you's dead. Troublemaker or Bird's eye is dead. I could kind of send you two in there to fight them off a little bit, but. Just. Yeah. I think I just want to try and save one of you, and I'm more into Troublemaker than I am Bird's eye. Okay, we got. Ooh! In, but we got Drifter! Okay, so you... are in a safe spot now. Kinda. Yeah, you'll be able to live. I do want to get Barrel Cactus out of there. We have two free movement here. And then I still have Bootleg, which I can use to gain a new hand here. Uh, so... I can send you in. Or I could save Bird's Eye. Or I could send Bird's Eye in just to attack something. I don't want Barrel Cactus to die either. Barrel Cactus has payback, which I really want. Mm. Did you dorks reach me? Yes, you could. If I moved you up anymore. This is hard. Uh, let's just move you up a little bit more and then let's see do I want to put you over there big mad I don't know that I do let's uh I could send quiver kid in there to get a hit but quiver kid would die let's just if I move barrel cactus right here they could both team up on barrel cactus and kill so I don't really want to do that let's just move you right there now let's bootleg. 
What do we got? Pain and gain. Okay, I got an instigate. You're going to die anyway. But this is just one self damage, so let's do this. That lets me draw another card. That's another attack. Um, I could overrun onto one of these enemies and kill them. Alternately... Let's see... I could kill one of you. <sighs> I could kill one of you. Mm, with Big Mad. But that would just mean another copycat would spawn, which I don't need. But maybe they're going to move down here and attack Big Mad anyway? Kind of hard to tell what they're going to do. I don't totally think using you to just attack, like, kill one of these enemies is the better option here. I don't think that's the better option at all. Yeah. I think I just want to light up Seed Sword, maybe? Or Overrun? And then use Overrun to get up here, attack you twice, and kill you. Big Mad will survive. Yeah. Also, you may move over here, which would block this. Okay, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's make sure we got Big Mad's numbers right. You have 7 HP. The most they could possibly do is 6. Okay, so let's light up on that. Move you right here. We can Seed Sword you. And we can attack you. There we go, you are dead. Hopefully, if you attack me, you'll move here and block that spawn. So, it won't be the worst. Bird's Eye will probably die here. Okay, you're attacking the beacon, that's fine. Beacon can take it. Quiver Kid died. You're going to both kill Bird's Eye. And it looks like the one that's going to be saved is Barrel Cactus. That is A-OK -okay with me. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. I can also kind of summon some of them down there now. Okay. I have three units here. We are on turn seven. Think I may have this? Okay, I don't have some of the things that I would like. Um, Barrel Cactus. You're not in a good spot. I would prefer for this unit to die, but... I also don't have a lot of attacks. Deal damage equal to that enemy's attack value. That is enough to kill. So... There we go. <clears throat> Dead? Now... I could now and later. Or I could hurt you to gain some- to draw some more cards. I'll just now and later. There we go. Yeah, now I can do that. Now we can light up something. Probably the move? Probably the move. I mean, I could- I could light up fully stacked, but it only stays on that version, right? That would give you a bunch of armor, Barrel Cactus. Yeah, let's do that. Use that. Okay, which also allowed me to draw a card, which means you can move right here, and you can actually tank that now, so we can stop another enemy from spawning. We have a free attack. Good. So... Hmm. Pain and gain. We do have pain and gain. You two can do four damage between the two of you, which is how much HP Barrel Cactus has. So, I think I'm gonna devilish deal you. What do we got? Cactus juice. Okay, nothing super crazy, but the main point is I have enough to do some more now. So, let's charge you in here. Uh, nope. Attack. Whoop. Attack. Thank you. Okay, and we got one of those. I could get rid of a waste, but I don't feel the need. I could give you more armor. You're going to survive, like, barely. 
I could also just heal you. Might be the best call. If only I could get in here with you and kill that copycat before they get to attack again. But we cannot. Let's just heal up you. <sighs> okay, are you going to attack Big Mad to get Big Mad's attack? That, that would be what I would do, personally. But the AI may not be bright enough to do that. Okay, there you go. Enjoy your 8 attack. I have to kill you this round. <laughs> you have to die. Or we are boned. God, this is just a dangerous-ass challenge. I swear. This is so spooky. Okay, um... We got Overrun, we got a Waste. Um, I can take some self-damage to gain some energy. Um... Let's see... Let's kill you. Move you down here. Budding Sword does one extra damage, which is not enough. So... Let's do that. And I'm gonna have to move you right here. Attack. Okay, and then I can... Overrun you... Up here to kind of get away from these enemies a little bit. And get rid of that waste. We gain more energy, but we don't need it. Okay, we might be able to survive? This is a rough challenge. It makes me really scared of whatever challenge is coming next. Like, my god. It's really fun, though. I don't know if it's interesting to watch, but... <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> oh my gods. Okay. So, what do we got? Um, not much is the answer. That is the answer. Not much. Um... Maybe right here. Bop. Dead. Um, I could summon a bird's eye, but there's not a whole lot of points. Move you right here. And I can move you right here. Summoning the bird's eye is pointless. They would just immediately die. It would distract them for like two seconds. So, none of that. Let's just give you some armor and give you some more armor. Okay, you three are going to have to hold the line here. You are going to have to hold the line. There are a lot of foes coming. So many spotters! I can't believe how much of a difference just getting a better draw made, though. That saved my life. Um... Okay, I do have a lot of movement here. Uh, you don't do enough damage to kill one of them in one hit. Um... I could have you sit right there, though. You would be relatively fine. I just need somebody to kind of block the way there. Uh, yeah. So, let's bull rush. Sword. That's fine. Let's move. Murder. And... I can get rid of the waste, but there's not much else for me to do. I don't have enough movement. God, it's so limiting not playing as the, um... As the whatchamacallums. You could possibly die if this unit... Uh... No, maybe not. Because I was thinking you could move right there, shoot. You can't reach. Well, you'll be able to once that... Okay, wait. Troublemaker might have just died. There's just so many enemies. Oh my god. Yeah, you might be getting overwhelmed here. I needed more movement. I mean, there's nothing for me to do. If all of you gang up, which I'm fairly sure you're going to, I think it'll work out. Yeah, because you can shoot. You can shoot. You can't, but I think the egg person can. And we'll finish off Troublemaker. Yes. Damn it. Okay, but we don't have to survive much much longer. We don't have much longer left. Uh... Thing. 
Um... Yes, I will commence with the murder on you. Bang. Okay, that's good. Give me that. Um, Quiver Kid, you're not super needed, I don't think. Barrel Cactus, you're doing your thing. I could Cactus Juice you. Uh, I would really love to go in and send you in and murder someone, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I just don't have enough attacks. If I summoned you, I would get pressed the attack, though. But that would require one to bring you down here. One to press the attack, which would kill the egg champion. I don't think they can move enough to do anything, really. I think I just should just run back here. And, uh... I could pain and gain you and then cactus juice you. Uh, so cactus juice on you. Psych up. And I could now and later draw two more cards here. Let's see, we have that as movement, that is movement. Good quiver, kid. I could Quiver Kid and then send Quiver Kid in to kill that idiot. Should I just do that? It'll take some of the heat off of me. That is one less enemy I'll have to kill. Um, where can you make it? You can make it right there. You can't hit me. But no, if you moved there, you could. Which would get a hit on Big Mad. Um, stop that. Uh... Let's see, how much free movement do I have? I have a few. I think I'm gonna move you back, actually. Because the spawners aren't ready to go here again right yet, right? I don't think so. So, how about we summon Quiver Kid? Um, we... Move you with Drifter. You can attack. Ooh, and maybe the better thing would do to be... Would, to be would need to plug this area with you. Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, 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 that's good. Okay, you're gonna be fine. We have a press the attack. I could have used that back there, actually, but it's whatever. I'm plugging the way with you now. I don't even really need to, though. You can't move far enough. Yeah, if you move right there, you can't hit Big Mad, actually. Because you'll move right here, that's one, two, three. So... Let's just move you back here, actually. There we go. I have even more movement, but nothing to do with it, so... Alright, I believe we are good. I have to survive one more turn, and I do think I can pull that off. The main thing... I think the, the more dangerous thing is he's gonna be keeping Big Matt alive. Mmm. I wanted to accomplish more this episode, but this challenge ended up being a pain in the ass. Huh. Okay, what do we got? Um, got pain and gain. Could motivate someone. But we don't have enough movement to really do much. You can't reach me. Which is good. You can. Uh... I can't kill you, though. Well, no, I could. Just barely. Let's do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Was really hoping I would draw something different, but, uh... Sure. Light you up. Motivate you. Can I get... A movement card? No. Okay. Well, I wanted a movement card, and I didn't get it. Actually, wait. This just does one damage. Still didn't get a movement card! Jesus Christ! Where's all my movement? Okay. You can't die anyway. That's the whole reason I did that. I was gonna try to move you back onto this, but... It's fine. I think we've got this. Definitely didn't have the heart of the cards on my side this time. Maybe that first turn, but then it was all downhill from there. But we've won. Victory. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Jesus, was that worth it? No. For 20 coins? What is this one? Defeat Felix, bigger, better battle. Let's see, we're at 45 minutes. Um, I wanted to do more levels this episode. This, I think this is going to have to be a longer episode. I wanted to do two this episode, because I've got to finish this game up fairly soon. So I think I'm going to try to beat this too. Hey kid. Rowan? What are you doing here? I have to say, I'm impressed you got by Felix. Not by finest creation, but he served his purpose well. I was wondering if that was where this was going. It took a lot of effort to make a floppy night that elaborate, but I guess that's just a testament to my greatness. It was you? I really didn't want you to get involved. Didn't I turn, tell you to turn away? You've been using these floppy nights to attack people. See, that's the problem, kid. You don't think big enough. Your concept for floppy nights was genius. What you showed me at the Gadget Cup, elemental magic sequenced into code. Brilliant. But you don't get to the height of science without pushing the envelope. I wish it could be bigger. I, I knew it could be bigger. All these years I've spent studying artificial intelligence in the hopes that I could find a path to immortality, a way to keep my legacy going. Mortal bodies are so inefficient, but what if? What if we could make endless copies of ourselves by using elemental magic? Rowan, what are you doing? I'm saving everyone. Saving everyone from ever having to know a world without my genius. I have everything I need now, the technology, the shimmerite, and now I've retrieved my algorithms from the lab. They were right to shut down my research, it was unstable to sequence living consciousness to code. But that was before I met you, Phoebe. I built a new machine to upload my consciousness to all surrounding tech. It may destroy my body, but with the help of floppy knights, I can use it to make infinite copies of myself. No, that's what- that's not what they're meant to be used for. Then what are they meant to be used for? Chasing off goblins? Helping cats out of trees? With immortality, I'll take the tech industry by storm, I'll be omnipotent, I'll control everything, I'll never have to die. I have to admit, I wouldn't have gotten this far without your little floppy knights, Phoebe. Now the time has come. This machine's going to emit a very strong pulse, it's going to get pretty dicey here in a sec. But don't worry, I'll make sure there's a footnote in the history books for you, kid. Rowan, stop! Too late, kid. W what happened? Phoebe... Phoebe... Carlton? So something I is wrong. Ah, hello, Carlton. It's a shame that I need to delete you. You really are an impressive specimen. Rowan, what are you doing? Get out of my arm! Beep, beep, gee. Say goodbye, Carlton. Good, good grief. No! Carlton? Carlton? No, 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 no. Carlton, come back. Ha <laughs> there's no point, kid. It's too late. It had to be done. Couldn't have you trying to stop me now. A necessary sacrifice on the path to greatness. You didn't need to take him from me. Just let it happen, baby. It's time for the Age of Rowan. Bear witness to my immortal hive mind. I'm gonna bear witness to your ass kicked on the concrete. Now I don't... I don't know what to do. I... Don't know what to do? Can't believe what I'm hearing. Wh what? Is it... Oh. In here I pegged you as a know-it-all, Phoebes. Alex! Yes! Alex, what are you doing here? We are here to help, whether you like it or not. I could tell things were getting serious at the coast, and... Well, we were going to leave, but we turned back. It was Roman all along. That machine emitted some kind of pulse, and... Carlton... I know, we heard everything. She's controlling all these floppy knights, and... I can't stop her, I can't do anything. Carlton isn't here, and I can't use my floppy knights, and... Wait, wait, wait. Stop talking for once. Huh? I have an idea. Neither of you are going to like it. Neither of us. Thebes, why don't you use Snarlton? I excuse me Me inserted that into that hack job arm computer. I would rather try to connect to a wireless printer. You think that would work? Why not? I modeled Sm uh, Snarlton after Carlton. Their specs should be similar enough. Sh should we try it? Snarlton? Ugh. Fine, but you can never tell anyone about this. Thebes, come here. One sec. There. It worked. Ew, it's so cramped in here. What is the aspect ratio of this uncrum <laughs> chunk? This feels so weird. Can we really do this? Snap out of it, Phoebes. There's no time to complain. There's an army of possessed floppy knights threatening our way of life. I've seen you lose an arm and rebuild it as a supercomputer. I think you can survive spending a few hours with Snarlton. Besides, Carlton won't want, wouldn't want you to give up. You're right. Snarlton, are you ready to try this? I suppose I can make this work. 
Better make sure Snarlton comes back in one piece. Get going before I change my mind. God, I think that was the most dialogue this game has ever had. That was a, that was a lot of dialogue. Okay, we got a bunch of enemies to destroy to win this battle. Defeat all the enemies. Okay. There's not that many, quite frankly. I just gotta get to the right side of the screen and the debug will take care of everything else, so... Alright, Concoctor. We got places to be, things to do. Okay, I can summon a Teen Spirit as well. Do I really want to, though? Let's see, you do how much damage? This is going to be a problem, because this ogre exists. Mm. Yeah, see, that's going to be an issue. Um, boom. I do get to draw a card off of that. Let's do this. Okay, Thousand Cuts, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Um, do I want to use that now, though? Hmm. I mean, I have to if I want to kill the enemy, so... Uh... Bop! Cool. Now, you can only move, like, right there, so... Let's, uh... Damn, I wanted to, uh... I wanted to use the, the Tree Folk Rock on you, but, uh... I can't do that and also live, so... There we go. So you can't reach me... Um, not really much else to do, honestly. The manual would just get deleted, moved as a transplant I don't need to do. Okay. Alright. This is my squad at the moment. You're just gonna get killed soon by the thing. Aren't you immediately going to get killed by the debug next turn? Okay, you're gonna move before it ends, I guess. Uh, alright. Uh, definitely light up on Rally. Okay, so... I can move right here. Bop. And we need to Rally. And Volley Fire probably as well. Bop. Bop. Still not enough to kill you. Um, but I can move... Let's see. I could attack you right here. Yeah. And then... Let's see, your speed is two, so you can move a few different places here. I'm trying to make sure I don't die here, but there's not very many safe places. You can move one, two. So, if I move you right here, I'm also going to have to move you right here, just to block the way so you can't one-hit Concoctor. Okay, what else we got? Hyperspeed. I could summon Spinneret. I think I'm going to wait to summon them. I don't think I'm going to bother yet. So, I could move you all the way down here and we just leave this ogre behind and they'll just die slowly to the thing. But if I move down here, I am going to get hit by this wizard. But it might be better than Team Spirit taking four damage from this ogre. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, because you can't... Yeah, you can't fly over things. You can't reach me. Okay, let's just get down here. You're going to take two damage, probably, but... That's just something we're going to have to deal with, isn't it? Uh, I couldn't have boxed you in in any way. You still would have been able to attack me, so... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the bat died. Okay, you're on your way. Okay, good, you attack Team Spirit instead of Concoctor. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well. Now we just gotta make our way down there. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be too long of a battle, actually. Um... Okay, I got sweet move. I could discount sweet move. Let's do that, so I have a bunch of free movement. Uh, so let's do you right there. And... A thousand cuts. Let's just do a volley fire. So I can do that. There we go. Um, now... 
Let's see, if I have... Thousand Cuts and Strike, I could kill this unit. So, I got a Strike. I got Thousand Cuts. Bang. Bang. Bang and bang. Good stuff. So busted. <clears throat> okay. I'm just happy I'm back to my, my deck. <laughs> The other deck, the Big Mad deck, I feel like the reason I had such a hard time with that level was just because I'm not as used to or good with Big Mad. But this is much easier. Oh god, this is gonna be a long episode. Kind of a pain. Uh, alright, Total Chaos, Sunshine, Volley Fire for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and move you up here. Yeah, and you can fly over things. You have to watch out for that. Thing. Hmm. Light up on what? Hmm. Light up on move. Move you right here. Pack you with that. Got sunshine, perfect, that is what I wanted. And then I can move you right here. So, ooh, I can't summon you, I don't have enough. Uh, I think I'm gonna summon Shady Shroom instead of Spinneret then. Yeah. And you only do one damage, so I think that's fine. And I can't get you up here. I could return you to hand, but... No, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go with that. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't gonna be that long of a level. Yeah, you're just attacking the Shroom, that's fine. Oh wow, you're attacking Shroom too. Weird, don't know why, but okay. Yeah, it's just gonna, at some point, it's just gonna be us kind of sitting in that top right corner in those trees and just kind of hunkering down while we wait for the debug to kill everyone. Alright, Total Chaos. Um, you do how much damage? Two. Boom. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and make Volley Fire cheaper. Give me three of those. I can attack you. And then I can use you to take out both of them. Oh wait, I thought you... You do attack all Jason. Oh, but yeah. Okay, it doesn't count for that. There's a detail I forgot, Lucy. Um... Okay, well we got, frankly, a shit ton of movements, so... I think we're good here. Get you over there. Um... If I had another attack... Ooh, but if I sweet move, and then... Yeah... If I sweet move, and then do that... Let's move right here. Let's strike. And then I can sweet move. And we can move you all the way... Over here. I know what I'm doing. Yes, there we go. Boom. Thousand cuts with you. Summon some more of those. Bang. God, this deck is so stupid. Uh, and then I can... What's your range? None of you can reach me. We can stop the spawn from happening right here. Um, yeah, if I can... There we go. Step. Yeah, move right there. That spawn's not happening. Now... What do I want to do with the rest of this? Um, let's probably... After Effects. And then we can light speed with you. None of them can attack us. I want to stay there. <clears throat> eh, I don't really think we need to do anything else, quite honestly. I mean, I could... How much movement do we have, exactly? 
I only have one free movement. I was gonna say move someone over there and use these cuts to kill one of these enemies, but I don't have enough movement to get back over here and stop the spawn from happening, so it's just not worth it. I think we got this in the bag, though. That, o that poor ogre. That poor, poor fool. Just chilling back there. You poor, poor idiot. Alright, so... Another total chaos. Can light up the transplant. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, now, the problem is we don't really have a lot of attacks here, but I can draw more. What's your movement range? You two can't reach me. Good. So move right here. Attack. We got a volley fire. Exactly what I wanted. See, this is the benefit of being able to control your deck this well. It is so nice. Just being able to do whatever like that. Just being able to get all of the cards that you need at all times. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is probably a good call right here. Bing. Bing. Uh, we can light speed you right there. Free folk rock you just to be safe. And sure, go right there in those woods. <clears throat> yeah, I love the hooligans. These are always my types of decks in uh, these card games. I just love like having draw power and using like 50 million attacks. It's just really fun. Okay, we gotta work our way into those woods now. Sunshine. I could summon Spinneret. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Kill you. This is another unit I have on the field. We can sweet move. And I'll be able to uh, 1,000 cuts if I would like to. So, actually, I actually think I'm going to move you all the way back over there. So you can stop that spawn again. Uh, and I could 1,000 cuts here. Probably only use some more cards, though. So let's move you right here. You right here. Bang. And then we thousand cuts. Boom. Boom. Now. I think I could get you over there, Spinneret. I unfortunately cannot. Alright, well let's just finish you off then. I have enough thousand cuts to do this. Easily the most busted card in the game, I think. A thousand cuts and and this sweet flip. It's just too good, quite frankly. It's too powerful. Uh, I could move you into here. There's not much reason to though. Nobody can be hurt, right? You can be. Okay, we'll move you back a little bit just so you don't take that free damage. You're doing God's work, Team Spirit. Going God's work. That debug, it's on his way. Maybe I should just send you to kill that. Or concocter. Um. Well, let's go ahead and move you right there. Bop. And. Uh. Let's see, what else would I want to do here? You can be finished off now pretty easily. I should have attacked you, actually. Yeah, that was my bad. We didn't draw anything that gives us any extra draw power this round. Um... Bang. Yeah. Give me that. Okay, so I do have an idea here. You do three damage, so you can kill. You're poisoned, you only do two damage, but that is just enough to kill you next round, so we don't take any damage. And now I just need to get Team Spirit down there to kill you, and we are good. So... Alright, I think we win next round. Okay, we're finishing at about an hour, so it's not a crazy long episode or anything. Cool. <clears throat> Team Spirit, you got this. Get in there and do a quick murder. Easy peasy. Alright, so... Now we can probably finish the game off next episode, which is what I want, so... Thunderstruck? Like the song. 
Unit takes five self damage, draw three cards, and gain two energy. That probably requires like a big mad healing deck with like cactus juice or something. 80 coins? This Rowan lady is really grinding my gears. Floppy Knights, is there no end to them? What is the plan here, Phoebe? Please tell me you are smarter than you look. I don't know how to shut down your machine from the outside. Well, you got any better ideas rattling around in that large head of yours? Oh, I almost forgot. What is it? I made this virus to take down Felix when I thought he was a robot. It's meant to delete all files that reference Floppy Knights. Well, we are dealing with the hive mind of Floppy Knights here. But what would happen to Rowan? Not sure, but if we don't do something, there will be no stopping her. We've only got one shot at this, but it's our best chance. Well, stop yammering, do it. Virus upload. Yee. Yeah. Alright, defeat Rowan, end game. So, so we have one challenge left, and we have an end game next time, and then we are done, so. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this extra long episode of Floppy Nights, and I'll see you next time for some more.